Welcome back, Helldivers. What is the best support weapon to take on the automatons? Here are my thoughts. When I think about doing a Helldivers difficulty mission with the automatons, I think of three main issues, three main things that consistently kill me. The first are rocket devastators. You get a lot of spawns of rocket devastators and they snipe you from across the map. The second is hulks. You get a lot of hulks spawning. I think this is part to do with the patrol changes, especially if you're playing by yourself. But in general, the amount of hulks that spawn compared to tanks or factory striders is a lot more and you need a consistent way of dealing with hulks. And lastly is gunships. Gunships are an absolute pain in the butt. If your team does not have an effective way of dealing with gunships, it can, it can ruin the run. So you need to be able to effectively take down gunships so you can blow up the gunship factory and move on with the objective. Now, like I said, of course, you get factory striders and tanks that are also spawning, but I don't really find them to be a problem. The cadence of them spawning, like I think I, I might get one to two factory striders. Um, and same with tanks. I find, I'm finding that like, tanks aren't really spawning as much as I felt like they did a while ago. I'm getting a lot of hulks, not so much tanks, not so much striders. And in general, um, I usually have an, a stratagem to deal with them, like an orbital stratagem that's actually off cooldown that I can take out tanks with. But of course, if a support weapon can deal with those things too, that's like bonus points. But mainly, I want to be able to deal with rocket devastators, hulks, gunships, and then have some utility against str factory striders and tanks. Before I give you my top three picks, I do want to mention some other support weapons that I think people will make comment on in the comments. The first being the recoilless rifle. Obviously, that can deal with everything. You can take out tanks. You can take out hulks by shooting the faceplate. Tanks shooting the vent in the back will do a one-shot, or you can shoot the turret, and that will be a two-shot from any angle. Uh, you can animation cancel, which really does improve the reload speed of it. You obviously could use it on Devastators, but that would be a little bit of a waste of, of ammo. You can take down gunships incredibly easy with it, too. You can also shoot down dropships. However, the negative is for this weapon, or the support weapon, is the ammo efficiency, and it does take up a backpack slot. Now, if you compare it to the, some of the other support weapons that I'm going to mention, if you use a recoilless rifle, you can take down six hulks by shooting them in the face plate if you get all your shots off before having the need to, you know, look for ammo. Compared to the other support weapons I'm going to mention, you can take out 25 hulks if you hit all of your shots. And I just think with how the game is right now, with the ratio to hulks to tanks, it is much better having a support weapon that can regularly deal with hulks rather than being really good at dealing with tanks. Okay, another honorable mention would be the arc thrower. Previously, the arc thrower was really, really good. It had a very good stagger against hulks. You could basically permanently stun lock hulks with the stagger. It would always it would almost be worth it always having somebody with an arc thrower on the team. However, they nerfed it. It doesn't do that anymore. It does like a mini stagger against hulks. Hulks can still get shots off between charges and it's just not that good anymore. It's not very good against devastators because they also nerfed the range and rocket devastators shoot you from across the map. And it's also not very good against gunships because they also shoot you from across the map and are often out of range too. I actually don't even know if you can hit gunships with it. I haven't been able to get close enough to do it. So, Arc Throw is also out. Quasar Cannon. This was my go-to support for a very long time. However, once again, recent nerfs, recent changes. The cooldown really hurts this weapon. If you're a god and you always hit your shots, it's completely fine. If you have multiple people running Quasar Cannon, it's also completely fine. However, if you're running solo or you're with a team, like a random team, and you need to be able to, like, kind of deal with everything just in case they don't have the right loadout this is just a very big risk for me you miss a shot on the hulk all of a sudden you're just running away and the hulk's chasing you down you miss a shot on the gunship which would happen to me a lot when i was playing solo and then it's just like man things just start to snowball and that's the reason why i don't choose the quasar cannon anymore is pretty much because of the cooldown on it the last thing i want to mention is eats eats are always good uh they're mainly good because of the really short cooldown and if you die and you lose all the gear you don't have another you know you lose your support weapon that you're currently carrying you can call in an eat likely because it'll be off cooldown and you can still deal with hulks you can still still deal still deal with uh, gunships you can deal with tanks eats are really good 
I primarily use them though as like a backup support weapon. Like for example, if I run a flamethrower with a bug mission, flamethrower is fantastic, but I can't deal with bile titans. So when a bile titan shows up, I'll call in an EAT and take out the bile titan. So I kind of use EAT as more of a support, um, a support support weapon, a backup support weapon. Okay, so what are the support weapons that deal with our big, you know, the big three problems? The, the Devastators, the Hulks, and the Gunships. What well, has all that capability and can also do some damage to Striders and Tanks. It is the Laser Cannon, it is the Auto Cannon, and it's the AMR. So which is the best? Right, the Laser Cannon on paper is really good. You can destroy Hulks by shooting through the front faceplate. And obviously it's got infinite ammo as long as you time the cooldown of the heatsink. And so you can deal with infinite amounts of Hulk, <laughs> essentially. Uh, you can take down gunships with it too, which is very nice. So everything starts snowballing. You've always got some ammo to deal with gunships. It doesn't do very well against Devastators though. It doesn't stagger, so the rocket guys will often get rocket shots off. And because you kind of have to sit there like holding the laser beam on Devastators, it's really not a good option for any of the Devastators. If you do get headshots, they do drop quickly, but I find I'm just kind of standing still for too long and I get hit by other stuff and I don't like it at all. However, really good for Hulks, really good for gunships. And of course, it has the capability to take out tanks if you shoot the heat sink at the back. Uh, it can take out factory striders if you shoot the vent underneath as well. So it does have capability there. And it doesn't take up a backpack slot either, which is a huge positive means you can use something else as part of your build. On paper, this is a very strong contender. However, just from using it and playing with it, I just don't like it. It's just a little bit too slow um, for dealing with enemies. And compared to some of the other options, which I'm about to tell you about, well, the auto cannon anti-material, I think they just outperform the laser cannon. All right, the auto cannon, this is a fan favorite. No one likes to talk about it because it has survived so many patches and is still in a great spot. Please don't nerf it because then people will blame me. But this thing deals with all three problems of the Hell Diver mission automatons. It absolutely destroys Devastators, Rocket Devastators, Heavy Devastators. You can just blast them away, even at range. It two shots hulks in the front faceplate. It two shots the engines of gunships. So it deals with the big three. What I think the big three is the main, the big three problems of hell diver difficulty. It also has the ability to take down factory striders. You can shoot off the gun turrets. You can get underneath. You can shoot the underbelly of factory striders. Um, you can even shoot uh, factories themselves and blow up factories if you get the ricochet right. You can shoot tanks. You can shoot the vent at the back of tanks to take them out. It has 50 rounds, and you can collect ammo on the map as well. Hence, if you two-shot every Hulk, you can kill 25 Hulk before needing a resupply, which is massive. The only downsides is really it, it does take up a backpack slot. The ergonomics does take a little bit of time to get used to. Uh, obviously, you can improve it by lying down or crouching down or using the correct armor. But I do run stun nades, so I can make sure I always hit my shots on the hulks. Makes it very easy to land those shots. And you do have to stop to reload it. It does reload five, like five uh, bullets at a time in a single cartridge. And if you only, how do I say this? If you completely empty everything and you load two cartridges, you're going to be loading for a bit longer. So a good way to use it is you shoot like six and then you reload one cartridge. That's a good way to do it. A very, very solid choice to go up against the automatons. Nobody's going to look at you sideways if you take in the auto cannon. Right, let's talk about the AMR. This thing has come an incredibly long way. The sights are a lot better. They have fixed some of the misalignment. Apparently, it's still a little bit off. I think it shoots just below the crosshair now, but it's very usable. Like the auto cannon, it deals with all three problems that I think are involved with the hell diver mission and the automatons it slams devastator rockers ro it slams devastators the rocket devastators from range um, very similar to an auto cannon it two shots hulks to the faceplate it takes four shots to the engine of a gunship so a little bit less efficient than the auto cannon and actually find the auto cannon is a little bit easier to hit your shots on the gunships because of the strafe but it still takes down gunships and can deal with them 
It performs very similar to the auto cannon when it comes to factory striders and tanks. You can shoot off the guns of the factory striders. You can shoot it uh, on the underbelly, and you can also take out tanks by sh getting behind it and shooting at the vents. And you obviously can do that from range as well. It has seven rounds in the magazine with six magazines, so it is slightly less than the auto cannon with only a 42 total rounds. The auto cannon had 50 total rounds. And overall, the AMR and the auto cannon for me are the top two contenders for bots as a support weapon. But there is a clear winner in my mind. The auto cannon has more ammo and is better with ammo, it takes down gunships faster, a little bit easier to shoot those things, but it takes up a backpack slot. The AMR doesn't take up a backpack slot, and this really opens up your build opportunities. It means you can run like a supply backpack with it. Supply backpack will give you ammo for the AMR. It will give you stims to keep you alive, and it will give you grenades, and especially if you're running stun grenades, it means you can make sure you hit your Hulk shots even better. If you don't want to run supply backpack, you can run a shield generator to keep you even more safe. You can also run a ballistic shield, which is excellent against bots as well. But my personal favorite really is to run the AMR with a supply backpack and just essentially shoot everything. You have so much ammo then you can shoot devastators with it. You just use it like a primary. You can always take out hulks. You always have stun nades to take out hulks. Uh, it is a crazy, crazy strong build. It's probably my top build for automatons is AMR supply backpack. And that is why I think the AMR is easily the best support weapon to take out automatons on a hell dive is difficult. If you want to support the video and cannot think of a comment, you can just leave the word AMR. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.